G'day guys, it's Sam from the Cybermen here. Today I'm going to do a deck profile on my Lord Slug deck from the starter deck meta and then I'll talk about changes we can make um, to the deck when set 10 comes out. Um, I used this deck at locals a couple of weeks in a row and I've won both times. Um, they're, it's not, you know, they've been small locals because of COVID but I feel like it's a pretty big achievement considering Revenge X and things like that are running around. Um, but first I'll talk about the SPRs that I haven't spoken about yet. Um, first of all, we've got Freezer. Um, this one is my favourite of all the SPRs. Um, I'm partial to a Freezer Saga card. Um, really love the art on this. Uh, I think all of these SPRs, the art is just next level. I think they've done, outdone themselves. Um, next we have Gotenks. Um, Again, amazing art. I'm not a fan of this character. Uh, I like Gotenks, but I like Kid Gotenks. Um, I'm not, I've never even heard of this black guy before, uh, adult Gotenks before um, this, but awesome. Looks so cool. One of the fan favorites, I think, um, Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, this is gonna be probably the most expensive SPR, I think. Um, I'm, again, not a big fan of SS4, but I can appreciate how awesome this looks, um, and I think it's going to be very popular. Um, your boy Yamcha, such a sick card. The way they've done the gold foiling on all of these cards um, for pretty much all the lines is, is something that I don't think they've done before, and it looks really cool. Um, love it. Um, Trunks, another just awesome looking SPR. Um, I feel like I'm repeating myself over and over, but it just looks so cool. Uh, the way, just the way they've done the foiling is amazing. Um, and finally, one that I've heard some bad feedback on, um, Sin Shenron. Um, I don't get the bad feedback. Maybe he's pulling a strange face, I don't know, but I love the colouring. The pink on this card is just so cool. Um, so I appreciate that. Um, that is the last of them. Um, another thing I wanted to show off is... I actually ordered this uh, Scouter um, a couple of, probably a few months ago because I was going to wear this to the next regional um, and including, a, I was also going to wear a Nappa outfit but I got myself um, the Scouter, Blue Scouter which is uh, kind of what Nappa wears, I think he has purple but I couldn't find one of those um, so I will wear that Nappa um, cosplay, uh, shave my head, do a bit of a moustache and everything um, the next regional, so look out for that, that'll be fun. Anyway, let's get down to it. Um, Alright, so we have our leader, of course. Lord Slug. Um, so this leader, obviously when it came out it was a bit underwhelming, and then they brought support for it and it was decent, and now it's getting even better. Um, this guy has a activate main, take one life from your um, life to hand um, and the a card gains critical so you take a life you attack hitting for critical straight away even if it's 10k you're either critting them or they're using one card from hand to combo and it's helping your hand destruction so I really like that um, when you're at four life you awaken draw two cards on the awakened side it's got an auto when this card attacks draw a card honestly that's uh, if this was you know, activate main, draw a card of some sort, that would be awesome because having to attack if they don't have any battle cards out, you're giving them um, a card from life, which is a bit annoying. Anyway, um, he has an activate main once per turn. You drop one card from your hand and your opponent drops a card from your hand. So there are some cards in your deck that you want to drop, um, things like the Saiyan Ape or Rubrian, but we'll get to that. So that's the leader. Um, we have two Dark Temptation Towers as support. This is just a nice extra dropper card um, if you need it. Um, it warps your drop area, so you need to be careful when you use it because you do want drop area for sparking for your negates and also for um, things like the Ape and Ribrian that you use from the drop area. So that's pretty good. So this is our Unison card. This is obviously starter deck meta, so we don't have access to all the new Unison cards. I'll talk about things that I would change 
um, once um, the new um, set comes out in a couple of weeks. Uh, but this freezer is still pretty good in this deck. Uh, it's a way to help self awaken. If they attack this um, card, you can choose to take a life instead. Um, and then you've got a plus one that lets you drop a card and draw a card to help fix your hand, which is important in this deck because you tend to use a lot of your energy and sometimes um, it's very common for you to be tapped out on your opponent's turn. Um, so that's plus one. And then also you have a minus one that lets you KO a um, four or less battle card or um, remove a marker from a unison card. It's a very versatile um, card. It's great in hand destruction because your opponent will sometimes want to play a lot of their battle cards to avoid dropping them, and then you can use this to clear the board. And the fact that it's only minus one means it's really easy to utilize um, his skills. And then of course it's just an extra beta that you got on the field. So we've got three of those. Um, so a lot of people like to try and um, not use the slug uh, engine in this deck now, um, but I still really enjoy it. Wings. Um, this guy's a one drop that reduces all Slug's army cards in your hand by one. Um, he's got barrier. As we know, very easy to remove at the moment, but sometimes not as easy to remove early game, which is when you kind of need him. Once you start getting energy, he's not that important. So you want to get this guy and play him on turn one if possible, so that he's, turn two is ready to either play the unison or play some of your other cards for cheaper. So I've got four of those. We have... One second, just realized something that I messed up here. Alrighty. We have three Lord Slug Return to Form. This is a two drop searcher, but with wings on board, it's a one drop searcher that you can search your whole deck for a Slug's army card with an energy cost of four or less. Um, incredible search power to be able to put this down on turn two for one energy and just get whatever piece you need. A lot of the time that is um, the three drop um, Anguilla, I think it's called, um, because that card is a beast. But these are good. I think three of is fine. Um, I tend to not use this if I get a good hand at the start, but it is decent. It's a 10k, so you're not really pressuring, but at the same time in this deck you don't really want to attack unless your attack is critical. Um, so next up I have four of the Lord Slug Agent of Destruction. Um, this is an amazing card, especially with wings on board. You're playing it for two energy. When you play it, your opponent drops a card and then you can play one energy to play a three cost or less um, slug from, uh, Slug's army from hand. So this is value, crazy value. You can use um, the next card to play this as well for pretty much nothing. So it's very, it's a very, very valuable card in this deck. So the next card is Lord Slug Young again. Um, this guy comes out for three with wings on board. Uh, and then he has a bond skill auto. When he's played, you untap two energy. So you're essentially paying him for one. Uh, sorry, you untap one energy. So you're essentially playing him for two. That's a 20k. And he plays a three drop um, or less Slug's army from the drop area, so you can use him to play this. You're essentially getting a 20k beta and another 20k beta that drops a card, then you can use another energy to play another battle card, um, all for two energy pretty much. Um, and this guy serves as a, an evolve target for your big Slug, which is here. Um, I only run three of this guy. Um, so he is uh, Titanic Ambition Lord Slug. He is a six drop double striker. I'm just gonna get him in focus there. When you play this card, um, your opponent, you choose three cards from your opponent's hand and place them in the drop area. So usually this is a finisher. Um, a lot of the time I don't use this card because you're, my opponent tends to never have three cards in hand and I feel like the value isn't there. Um, but it is only two energy to play. Um, the only slug you can play him off is this guy. It needs a four cost slug, so you can't play him off this or this one. Um, but it is an amazing finisher, dropping three cards and then um, hitting them with a double strike. Next up, this is the MVP of the deck for me. I love this card. It is amazing to play and extremely annoying to play against. Um, Adonic Warrior Anguilla is a three cost, two cost with wings. 
or you can play him with this guy from the drop area or this guy for one energy so you have lots of options he is a critical 15k and when he attacks he has an order that the opponent drops a card so you're attacking with this your opponent may counter but then they have to drop another card from hand or they don't counter they drop a card and then they have to deal with a 15k critical um, the amount of hand destruction this deck has We've only gone through the normal slug package that everybody would know, and already it's really good. But I'll get to some other cards that help this deck be even better. First of all, obviously we have Zayan, two drop blocker, but he plays for free, because he eluded slug. Um, I'm thinking about taking these out, I barely ever use them, because blockers are just pretty crappy at the moment. Um, but in some matches they will be really good. Um, I have four of this uh, newfound power Sun Gohan. Uh, this is for self awakening. Again, I'll probably remove these because we now have the Unison card. Um, I barely ever use them, but they are good um, in a pinch to get an extra critical. Even towards the end, a lot of like 99% of the time, if you're playing the deck well, your opponent will have one or no cards in hand um, when they have four life or so. So if you need to just knock them down critical and give yourself a card in hand, then this guy works. Um, on, honestly, use it more for that than self-awakening. Um, now this is another MVP of the deck. Um, it's not cheap, as we know, but Ribrian, Punishing Passion, is amazing. So th this is generally my turn two play. I get um, Wings down first, and then I do this turn two, set up for the next turn. Dropping two cards from your opponent's hand can be devastating. Especially for combination decks, uh, combo decks like Invoker or um, Arrival based decks, they really need a few different pieces in hand to make their deck work. And this just really sets them back. Um, honestly, I think this, and that's why I put these in, that's why I started playing this again after DB4, because this makes the deck. Without this, it's just the same old slug. Um, but this is going to be amazing I'm gonna keep four of these in set four set ten um, and we will I'll go through changes but seriously this card is incredible similar to the last one Saiyan in sync Son Goku I've only got two of these um, a lot of the time I don't have the time to use this card to draw uh, because it does destroy hand very quickly and slug isn't the best deck at defending itself although we do have a lot of defensive cards in here um, you really want to go hard early, so you don't always have the time to draw. But as with a lot of hand destruction decks, you don't have a big hand yourself most of the time. So this guy can help you fix that and draw what you need. And so of course these, these two are really good to drop with your leader skill um, to drop your opponent's hand. Alright, next is our super combo. We have four of the Android 18. It's the only multicolor card in the deck. Um, this can really, really hurt your opponent. Um, a lot of the time I find that I don't want to be attacking um, my opponent with my leader and things like that because they'll use that combo phase to a rival and, you know, destroy whatever you're attacking with or, um, and this can really hamper that as well. They'll, you'll attack, they won't negate because they'll be thinking, yep, I can arrival this cooler and destroy their card or whatever. And then you combo with this one, two maybe, and they it will completely destroy their hand and they won't be able to do what they were going to do. Um, so again, this is another thing that makes this deck so much stronger than it was. Now this is um, kind of a questionable SCR. I chose um, Cell Zeno. I find that I really tend to have a lot of, you know, two drops and one drops on the field by the time this guy would want to come out. Um, a lot of people would rather run uh, Shadow Dragon over this guy, but I really like having Toa in here and that hampers the Shadow Dragon, so I like having this. Um, I don't play it as often as you'd expect, but it's a really good tool to have. A quad strike, even if it's not turn 5, um, when your opponent has no cards in hand is just like obviously devastating. Next, um, for the extra cards, I run 4 Cells Earth Destroying Kamehameha. This deck is mono green other than the uh, super combo, so these are extremely good. You use them early game a lot, um, see if you can, especially turn two if you're playing, you know, your searcher, you leave one energy open and use this um, on defense. It's just another way of getting your opponent's hand down, uh, but it is 
it is a bit clunky sometimes. Um, I use, I sometimes use the unison to drop it to draw another card, but I'm thinking about dropping this down to maybe three um, next set. And for negates, we have. Uh, where did that go? Here it is. Two shocking death balls. Um, this card is good. It used to be better because um, people would be attacking a lot with one and two drops in storm meta and things like this, but it's still really good. People don't expect it, um, especially in things like the new Vegito. Um, they have a lot of one and two drop Saiyans that stop you from attacking their leader, so this helps um, clear that board. And sparking obviously helps because you're dropping cards a lot with your leader skill. But I run two of those, and then three, Sacrifice. Sacrifice is similar to Shocking Death Bell, but you don't need Sparking. You can use this to self-awaken straight away and stop early attacks. Um, things like Double Strike Cabba, um, Saiyan Cabba, and the other versions of that card. Um, it's really good to just use this, because your opponent doesn't expect you to negate on turn one. And you can do that with this, even with no energy. So that's the deck. I'm running this at, I think, 53 cards right now. Um, only really because... I just added these in um, to my draft box version of this deck, so it didn't. Um, I didn't play around with it too much, but it works really well. So um, I really love this deck, and I can't wait to update it. Uh, let's get into what I would do for set ten. So this is what the deck is going to look like um, for set ten. Um, again, this is just what I think I want to play. There may be better options, but I think this is really solid build. Uh, I have done some testing with this online and it's worked really nicely. Um, so some of the changes I've made are the Freezer Zeno Unison from the starter deck I've changed to Golden Freezer Unison of Malice. Um, a lot of people are talking about putting the Bardock in here, um, but I don't really run enough one drops to make his discard um, uh, worth it or his activate main worth it, sorry. Um, the Skill, the auto skill is really good with him where he um, discards a card from their combo area. And again, it may be a better option than this, but I prefer this guy because I always seem to find myself wanting more critical bodies. Um, and I'll run this guy instead of the freezer from the draft box that gives critical. So he's um, plus one, you draw a card, you put a card from your hand on top of your deck, and then you get a critical 15k for the turn. Uh, it can really make a big difference because with the one that I currently have, I tend to not attack with it because I don't want to give my opponent's cards. Um, and then obviously he's got uh, the activate main where your opponent cannot attack with battle cards unless they choose one of their battle cards with an energy cost of two or more and place it in their drop area. Um, that's for the next turn. Um, so it's just extra um, kind of removal there. Uh, another change I've made is obviously I've dropped Android 18 down to two and added two of the Vegeta super combo. So this guy, when you play him for one, uh, your opponent drops a card. And then when you combo with him, uh, if your life is at four or less, you draw a card. So the only reason I have only put two of this guy in, because he's a really good super combo, is because I like to be able to combo with this as early as turn one um, for the discard effect. Whereas for the discard effect of this guy, you need to use one energy. Um, you still want to be playing your wings turn one, so we don't really have a time to play this on curve. Um, this is going to be like a, a later game um, play to, to help get cards out of your opponent's hand. Um, another change I have made is I've added the Dormant Potential Unleashed. Every green deck should run this card now. Um, it's like the green Nimbus. Uh, it lets you KO cards that add up to a total energy cost of two or less. Um, and also um, choose a green card in your hand, discard it, and your opponent can only attack once more this turn. So it doesn't actually negate the attack, we, it's important to remember. Um, so you only want to use this when you can take or combo out of the attack they're using. Um, that replaces Shocking Death Ball. Um, we also have Kukunsa. I haven't ran this in my current build, even though it's out, but I think it is worth running. Um, and because I've taken those Shocking Death Ball and the Gates out, I wanted to add this in. Um, it's obviously a two drop on your opponent's turn, and it, ca choose a it negates the attack, and then cho you choose one of your opponent's battle cards and KO it. Um, the last card that I changed in this deck is this new Sun Goku Power of Legend. Um, so he's a free 15k crit, pretty much. Uh, if your leader card's green, 
when one of your card skills makes an opponent discard a card, you play this card from your hand. Um, extremely easy to get out um, as early as turn two. Um, it's just really good to have another critical body, especially for free. Uh, and then you can also send it to the warp um, and it won't let you play cards for the turn of, of that copies of that card and you can get rid of a four or less battle card. Um, it's just more removal, more critical, 100% value. Um, I'll put a link to the in the description of this deck. Um, keep an eye out for more changes. Uh, it will likely um, change a fair bit as I test. Uh, but for now, this is what I'm going to go to my first locals with uh, once set 10 comes. Thanks for watching, guys. Remember to like and subscribe to keep up to date on all the Dragon Ball Super content. Um, we want to thank Grand J Games for all their support and remind you to use the code CYBERMAN5 at grandjgames.com for 5% off all your singles needs. Cheers.